Okay, this horse is a very nice walk, but what we see in the dressage ring is usually young horses walk well. Once they are trained, the walk has been worked out of the horse. What do you do to preserve a walk like this up to Grand Prix? To preserve a walk like this, I think one of the key th qualities are is what I consider bearing, which is accepted contact. You can't allow yourself to create that contact to such an extent that it, it inhibits the walk. And you see this. The tension comes in caused by the rider trying to create the collection from the front. What do you do is I have my riders work in shoulder four and pay attention and not to overpace the walk. Sometimes if you go too much leg too fast, you cause the horse, as Lilo said earlier, to go more on the forehand. It, the walk is probably the most boring thing, but I, I, can, I love the walk. I think it's the most exciting thing to, to work to see a horse that wouldn't collect and to go through. I watched to see whether the effect of the rider's aid, the leg aid and the seat aid, and the effect of the contact caused by that leg action is a, in a creative sense. It's not too much. So if I have a rider that's pushing too much with the leg, the horse will run into the bit and in turn push himself backwards, go on his forehand, and in turn you'll actually see the horse stiffen up. I think also, I mean, like Michael just said, I think what happens most of the time in the walk is, is that riders shortening up their horses' necks much too soon, and they think they're creating collection. I, I very rarely work much on collecting walk until I go to the higher levels. Then I start increasing maybe transitions to the collected walk. But I do mostly working walks, medium walks, extended walks. I very rarely work on collected walks just plain simple because I don't like to lose my walk at all. Now, what I try to do personally when I ride the collected walk is I try to ride with my legs a little bit, go forward, go forward. I try to ride with my legs a little bit forward in the collected walk. I have found over the years that I can increase the activity of the hind leg with my legs being a little bit more towards the girth and then being back. Good. So I try to school everybody to ride with their legs a little bit more forward than they would if they were going to do piaf or passage. Okay, can we come to a, a halt transition in riding forward into the halt? Ride forward a little more. Yep, do it. It's okay. He's looking. Continue to ride him. That's okay. Now go forward again and do it once more. Left hind just a little bit. Right hind a little bit. Yep, don't, don't grab the mouth. Okay, come on back again. We're going to do a rein back, but we're going to make sure he's thinking forward before he comes to the halt. Ride forward. Yeah, he's thinking a little piaf, super. Don't move. Oops, you, you breathe. Don't go forward and do it again. It's okay. Keep your hands down. Think forward. Yep. That's it. Not too much hand. Not too much hand. Easy with the hand. Just a little bit of left leg. Push with your left leg a little bit. Go forward and do it once more. As you come to the halt, subside with your hands a little bit and keep your seat in your leg, left hind leg. Ah, ah, you should have stayed. You had a very good halt. Don't move. That's fine for the present. You see a lot of horses when they rein back, they drag their legs because they're insufficiently collected. Now, if you need to spend the time doing this, then your barn will better do it and you'll get a good rein back. We're going to see if this happens. Come on, keep him going forward. Now, when you come to the halt, relax the arms, hold him with your seat and your leg, and keep your lower leg on him. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Do that. Okay, close your leg and ask him to rein back. Leg. Your leg. Give him the leg a little bit. Good girl, super, super. Walk forward, excellent, that's okay, good. Go forward and do it once more. And when you're practicing this, sometimes the horse loses the connection between the bit and the leg. Don't be alarmed by it, be brave, take your time, be quiet. When you ask him to rein back and you ask him to stop in the rein back, take your time. He doesn't have to stop instantly like he's doing Grand Prix rein back. And then you ride him forward as he goes to go, that, that's correct, so that you look to see that the hind leg stays connected to the bit the whole time in the rein back. Like we always want to say, a rein back should have the feeling of going forward, not backwards. Absolutely correct, yep. 
Take your time. Keep your seat in your. It's all right if you make some mistake. Don't don't. Just give him the leg. Give him the leg a little bit. That's the girl. A little more leg now. A little bit more. Correct. 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 A little more leg now. Two legs. Two legs. Put your hands forward and give him the leg. Yeah. By doing that, you actually can push him up in front, and you don't see this exercise, this done very much, rain back. You just see horses backing up. But you must push him the last two steps more forward. He, he doesn't think you're quite serious. Yes. That's okay. Take your time. Good girl. Good. Good. Now the leg. Close the leg. Good girl, and go forward. Super. All right? That's what we're looking for. Rain back is... It's a superb exercise, really, to, to train the horse to bend the loin, if it's done correctly. It, it always should have a feeling of forwardness. It should, it should move to the bridle, and then the leg says literally go back. You, it shouldn't push itself off the bridle and pull against it, brace against it, and then scrape his feet over the ground. That is just backing up. That is, has nothing to do with a rein back. A rain back means that the horse should lift his feet over the ground and up and down. And, and you should see the bend behind the saddle under, uh, uh, and over the loin. And you can definitely see it on this horse. So, you know, the, but the best way to train it is literally is to go forward to a halt, making him square, go forward from a halt, making him square. So he always feels to go to the bridle. He should never never not have a feeling of forwardness even though he steps back. Yeah, and you've got to be very careful that, especially in this movement, and in collected walk as well, that you don't make the judgment of the lack of staying on the bit in the wrong sense, such as if a horse is tight um, because he may have claustrophobia and you're, you're interpreting as disobedience and you start reprimanding him, boy, you're going to make trouble even worse. So if you wait, I think by waiting a little bit, as she did, we asked her to wait. Ah, not quite so fast. And then the acceptance of the aid came through. The horse stayed more up on the bit. Then when he made the transition to go forward, it was almost a 10, that transition from rain back to walk. <laughs>